Most people are throwing away money paying expensive monthly fees for their websites and e-commerce stores. But that ends today. You can launch a stunning online store like this in under 30 minutes for free. No monthly fees, no credit cards, and I promise this is not just a free trial situation. I'm gonna give you a solution that is truly free forever. And today we're gonna to use Payhip. If you're familiar with Payhip, you probably already know it's popular for providing powerful e-commerce features completely free. Payhip only takes a small percentage fee when you actually make a sale. So if you don't have any sales, you don't pay anything and you still get to keep your stunning website forever. It's also very beginner friendly. I'm serious when I say even my 70 year old grandma could set this up. No coding, no design skills, just point, click, and you've got a store. This also works no matter what you're selling on your online store. Payup is especially powerful for selling digital products like eBooks, templates, courses, uh, memberships, or coaching programs, but you can still sell physical products if you'd like. You'll get advanced e-commerce tools and marketing features like cross sales and affiliate programs, and even an online marketplace where your products can reach thousands of new buyers. And the website builder, that's just one of the many powerful features that Payup offers as an e-commerce platform. So make sure to save this video because once you're ready to actually launch your store, you'll wanna come back to this and follow these exact steps. All right, let's dive into it and set up your online store. All you need to do is enter your email, click get started for free and set up your login details. Next, you'll be asked to name your store and create your pay up store URL. For this example, I'm creating a store for my vegan recipe eBooks and I'm gonna name my store flavor and plants. Don't worry, you can change these later if you change your mind. And here's the cool part, right away, Payup gives you a free fully hosted domain or website URL like payup.com slash flavor and plants. While you can connect your own custom domain like flavorandplants.com later in the future, it's not really something you need to worry about to get started. After you sign up, you'll land on your dashboard and you really only need to do three things to get your store ready for launch. And that's to upload your products, set up your payout information so you can get paid of course, and customize the look and feel of your website or online store. Now let's set up your payout information and make sure you can get paid for your orders. You're gonna to go to account and then click on settings. And from there, you're gonna to navigate to the payment details tab. Payup gives you so many ways to get paid and just as important, plenty of payment options for your customers too. There are multiple payment gateways for you to choose from, but the most popular ones are Stripe, PayPal, and Square. They work in most countries, and honestly, they're trusted by millions of businesses worldwide, so you can be sure that your transactions are handled securely. But it gets even better. When you click see all payment options and set your business location, you'll see that there's tons of other gateways available for your region. For example, Paystack supports local payments in Africa, Mercado Pago covers Latin America, and Mali works across Europe. Offering local payment methods builds trust and makes checkout even easier and can absolutely lead to more sales. You can connect one or multiple gateways on Payhip and I recommend setting up more than one. The more options you give your customers, the smoother their shopping experience will be and the more sales you're likely to make. If you already have an account with one of these gateways, just click connect and follow the steps. If not, signing up is really quick and free and usually takes less than 10 minutes. One of the best parts about Payhip is how fast you get paid. There's no waiting period, there's no minimum threshold, your earnings land in your account right after each payment gets processed and you can access them as soon as the next day. All right, next I'm gonna show you how to actually upload your products. With Payhip, you can sell all kinds of things, digital downloads like eBooks, PDFs and templates, or even online courses, memberships, coaching services, and even physical products. For this tutorial, to keep it really simple, I'm just gonna show you how to upload and sell an eBook PDF. By the way, I have more comprehensive step-by-step -step video tutorials on how to upload each of these product types, so feel free to check those out if you want a deeper dive. Now upload your product file here. Payup will automatically send this file to your customers after every purchase. So you will literally never have to be involved in order fulfillment. And you can literally make money while you're sleeping. Now let's fill in your product details. So you're gonna put your product title here and set your price. And one really cool trick is that you can actually add a plus sign at the end of your price to make it a pay what you want pricing. And it looks something like this. Next, upload high quality product photos. I included a preview of what they're gonna get inside my ebook. In the description section, you're gonna tell buyers exactly why they need this product. Keep it clear, keep it convincing, and don't forget, you can also add images and other content right here to make it stand out. Don't forget to explore the advanced options. Here you can create different variations of your product, each with its own price and downloadable file. You can also upload a preview file so customers can see a sample before they buy. 
You'll also see an option for the advanced content editor, which lets you fully design your customer's download page. I'll cover that in another video. You'll also notice the category tab. This is where you can assign your product to a category so it can be submitted to PayUp's online marketplace. This means your product could be discovered by thousands of new buyers. And like always, the best part is it's completely free. You just need to meet the minimum requirements to qualify for the marketplace. Once you've completed all the details, you can click add product to publish your listing and your product is live and ready to sell. Now let's take a look at what your product looks like. I'm gonna upload a few more products here. If you have multiple products and wanna keep things organized, you can create collections to group similar items together. To do this, go to the products tab and click collections. From there, you're gonna click create collection and then give it a clear name and start adding relevant products. Collections make it a lot easier for your customer to browse your store and find exactly what they need. Here's what mine looks like. All right, your online store is live. It works, it looks clean, and people can already buy from you. That is a huge win. But now let's take it a step further. I'm gonna show you how to turn your store from basic into something stunning and fully branded because your storefront is the silent salesperson working behind the scenes to turn website visitors into actual customers. Here's a quick preview of what we're gonna build. And trust me, anyone can do this. No design skills, no coding, nothing technical. So let's head over to the store tab and launch the store builder. Let's take a quick tour before we start. On the left, you've got your main navigation panel. This is where you'll do most of your customizing. On the right, you'll see a live preview of your site that updates instantly so you can see changes as you make them. And don't worry, nothing goes public until you hit publish. Over here, you have the option to edit a group of pages at the same time. Then you can use this button here to change the overall look of your entire store. This includes things like colors, fonts, buttons, etc. This dropdown allows you to navigate any website pages on your store. You'll see that under product pages, you can navigate to any of your product listings and customize each of those pages. The same is true for collection pages. This button here allows you to create a new website section or a new custom website page from scratch. A custom page is basically just a blank website page that you can turn into anything you want, like an about us page or maybe your refunds policy or something like that. Over here, you can toggle between a desktop view and a mobile view to make sure that your website is always looking great on all devices. Finally, you can use the preview button to see what your store would look like to the public before publishing it. No one will be able to see any of your website edits until you hit that publish button so you can have peace of mind and build away. All right, so first I'm gonna show you how to customize this all products page. By default, this is the page people will see first when they visit your PayHip store link. Right now, it's essentially acting as your home page. All of the product listings you've uploaded to PayHip will automatically appear here. And if you've created product collections, those will show up here too. First, let's take a look at what's already on this page. Right now, you'll see a collection section that displays your products and an about me section. Let's click into the collection section so we can make a few adjustments. You can change the order of your product listings, adjust the aspect ratio of product images, change the layout styles for the collections, and also some specific settings for mobile view so that you can make sure your website is always enjoyable to shop from with all devices. Once you're happy, you're just gonna click Save Changes. Your store includes an About Me section by default, so you can customize this or remove it, but I'll keep mine in and edit the image and text. Okay, so now let's go back and click on Add Section. Here you'll find PayHip's library of pre-built sections. So let's add one together. You can customize the text and buttons here. I'll also change the background image and hit Save Changes. I'll then rearrange the section with the drag and drop. And that's it. It already looks so much more polished. Let's keep going. Now let's move on to customizing the header, which is the top section of your website that shows up on every page. And it usually includes your logo or links to important pages like your shop or contact page. Think of it as your website's main navigation hub and it helps visitors find their way around your website. First, let's go to store logo. If you already have a logo, just drag it in and adjust the size until it looks perfect. 
If you don't have a logo yet, no problem. You can just display your store name as plain text for now. Next, let's go to the navigation links. This is where you'll create your website's navigation menu, which will be especially useful as you add more pages to your store. Here's an example of what this could look like, and we'll tinker around with it later once we've created more website pages. Next, let's go to header settings. Over here, you can customize the layout of your header, and you'll see a few layout options here. So pick whatever one feels right for your brand, Next, choose the color scheme for your header. Once you're happy, save your changes and let's move on to the announcement bar. Announcement bars are perfect for highlighting special promotions or product launches. Here's what it looks like when I enable it. You can choose whether it shows up on every page of your site or just your home page. You could even link to a specific page or product, which is really handy for announcing a new collection or running a limited time sale. Now let's check out elements. The first element you can customize is a call to action button. This is especially helpful for coaches or agencies who want visitors to take a single action, like booking a call, for example. Here's an example of what this looks like, and you can also set it to link straight to your shop page. All right, once you're happy with your header, let's go back to the main navigation panel and move on to the footer section. First, you can choose whether you want a simple footer or a columns footer. Here's an example of each. I'm gonna choose the columns footer because it includes everything from the simple version and gives us more flexibility. You can click add footer column to start adding different elements. You can add links to your social media accounts, a navigation menu similar to your header, a newsletter sign up form, or just some custom text. These features will come in handy as you add more pages to your website. Next, let's go ahead and select newsletter and I'll just add a quick message here. Then I'll click the add footer column again to create another column right next to it. And this time I'll choose custom text and type a short blurb about the store. Once that's set, let's jump into the advanced settings. Here's where you can choose whether or not to display payment icons. I highly recommend turning these on because they work like trust badges. When customers see a familiar payment option, it kind of reassures them that their purchase is safe, which helps build confidence and reduce cart abandonment. You can also pick the color scheme for your footer, so here it blends perfectly with the rest of your site. When you're happy with everything, click Save Changes. Now let's move on to refining the visuals. This is where we can bring in cohesive colors and fonts that match your brand. On the left-hand panel, click Change Store Style. Let's first start with themes. Themes are a fast way to apply a polished, pre-made look to your store. Keep in mind that themes only adjust colors, fonts, and general aesthetics. They won't add or remove website content or sections. This will make sure that your existing content stays intact while giving your store a fresh new look. If you're like me and want full creative control, you can skip themes entirely and build it from scratch. Let's go ahead and click the back button and move on. Now let's customize your website colors. When you first open the color settings, you'll be asked to set your default color scheme. Choose any option that fits your style because you can always change this later. Then click start editing your colors to begin. Before making changes, let's quickly go over how colors are applied across your website. So your website is made up of various website sections like these. And if you click into each of these website sections, you can choose one of these five color schemes. A color scheme is basically just a preset of colors like the text colors, background colors, button colors, etc. For example, I can set this website section to a dark color scheme and then the next section I can set to a white color scheme. But I don't love some of these colors within that color scheme. Now for that, you can change it on the store-wide settings. So now let's go back to the change store style and click on colors and start editing your actual colors. You can create and customize up to five color schemes and again, each scheme controls a combination of text colors, background colors, button colors, and more. You'll see a full list of customizable elements for each scheme right here. Now notice how this page says this section uses the dark scheme while another uses the white scheme I applied earlier. Now watch what happens when I tweak something in the white scheme. I'll change this background color and instantly every section using that scheme updates across the entire site. This keeps your design consistent without needing to change each section manually. Now let's make it your own. Select the color scheme you'd like to edit. In this case, I'm choosing to customize the white color scheme. Click on any element like text, buttons, or backgrounds and adjust the color. For example, I'll update this text color and switch the button color and everything updates instantly. By the way, if you're someone who struggles with design or feels unsure about picking colors that look good together, 
do not worry. I've included a PDF file that you can download for free, which includes a bunch of preset color palettes designed to look cohesive and professional. And you can find that link in the description box below. Next, let's update your fonts. Still under change store style, head to the fonts tab. The easiest way to edit fonts is to click directly on your preview. Select any heading, button, or paragraph, and the font settings will appear on the left panel. From there, you can choose a font style, adjust the size, and see your changes updated in real time. Once you're happy with how it looks, just click Save Changes. All right, now that you've seen the basics, let's take this up a level. We're gonna build a brand new homepage from scratch and set it as the very first thing your visitors see when they land on your store. This is where you make that powerful first impression, so let's make sure it counts. Click this button to add a new custom page. You can name it whatever you'd like. This is just for your own reference. I'm gonna call mine homepage. I'll start by clicking add section and choose an image with text section to create the main banner on my homepage. From the panel on the left, I'll add a headline, a short description and update the button text. By default, the button links to my all products page, which is perfect because I want visitors to start shopping right away. Then I'll swap the background image for something on brand and adjust the banner height until it feels right. Next, I'll add a logo list to highlight some of the well-known publications that have featured my work. This instantly builds credibility. Next, I add another image with text section to write a little blurb about myself. Next, I'll add a feature collection section and choose one of my collections that I've created previously. You can really customize this. I can change the title, adjust image sizes, choose whether to display prices and decide how many products I wanna show. I'll also add a view all button so people can easily explore my full catalog. Next, I'm adding a slide list section with testimonials from friends and family who have tried my products. Once you have real customer reviews, swap them in because nothing builds trust faster than seeing genuine buyers who already love what you're selling. That social proof is what turns visitors into customers. All right, so now let's see this brand new page as your home page. Just a reminder, by default, your homepage is the all products page. That's the one with the little house icon you can see here. But now that we've designed a custom homepage, we want visitors to land here first. All you have to do is open the custom page you created, click the gear icon and select set as homepage. And that's it. From now on, whenever someone visits your store, they'll see your newly designed homepage first instead of the default all products page. Okay, so now we need to make sure people can easily get to this page. Let's add a link to it in your website's navigation menu. Head over to the header section and then click navigation links and choose edit navigation. From there, click add link, type in home and link it to the custom page we just created, the one I titled homepage. And there you go. You'll see your brand new navigation menu item that takes visitors straight to your new homepage. Now I'm gonna rinse and repeat the process and create an about us page. And that's it, you've officially built a stunning professional online store, ready for customers and ready for sales. You can rinse and repeat this exact process to create any other web pages you'd like, like a refunds policy page or really any other landing pages. You've got the skills now to make it happen. Here's what my final online store looks like to the public. This is the homepage people see the moment they visit my store URL. They can explore the About Me page to learn more about me or head straight to my shop and browse all of my products. Now let's see what it looks like to actually buy something. Say I want this item. I'll add it to my cart. From there, I head to checkout and after entering the payment details, the download page appears instantly and those same files are also sent straight to the customer's email. Notice how simple this is. No unnecessary steps, no asking for shipping address when it's not needed, just an email and payment details. That's how digital product checkout should be, completely friction free. There's so much you can do with your online store, like setting up cross sells, upsells, or even launching your own affiliate program. And the best part is all of these tools are free on PayHip. 
I've got video tutorials on each of them, so be sure to check those out. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. We do our best to answer everyone. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.